I'm Melody and this is Michael. We are both Australian teachers who have taken a year off our jobs to travel. Our goal is to see more than 30 countries in 12 months. So subscribe and let's get going. So on our walking tour we came by a pub uh, in the Jewish ghetto which is now I think, kind of has a lot of the nightlife. It's called Alchemy and she told us that inside it has a Chronicles of Narnia wardrobe. So naturally we had to come back a little later on. Uh, the pub itself is very cool. It has a um, early 1900s, late 1800s vibe. Look, we've ordered everything. We've got the, uh, I don't know, like the marinated aubergine and cheese for the start. I got the duck soup. If I see duck on a menu, I order the duck. Melody got the black pasta, what that's going to be like. Uh, we've got the grilled vegetables for the side. We've got the, uh, the potatoes on the side. And we've got some pancakes for dessert. And at the moment, we've got the mystery mix. We're not the faintest idea what this is, but we are in Poland, so we was worried that it would be either like sauerkraut or, I don't know, gherkin based, it's neither. We thought it was olive, but we can't figure that out either. Tastes like bolognese. It does, which is odd. So we've got everything coming, and we're about to punish ourselves. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> First meal review, crack off and their food is everything I recall. After making our way through a few courses and just through the pancakes, I'm full. Not quite feeling sick, so that's a mature choice of mine not just to buy the biggest thing on the menu. And I'm ready for the slow walk home in the cold and to succumb to the food coma that I know is not far in the future. That's our last morning in Krakow. We're about to leave to go to Slovakia today. And we've got snacks for the trip. Yep, and the bus should be, what, six hours? It's a long bus today. It'll be a very, very long bus. So we're on the bus. Mm -hmm. It was half an hour late, but it's actually come from Tallinn in Estonia and it's going to Sofia. So, very long bus trip. It it's would like suck to work on it. Oh, it'd be like a long haul flight for buses. There was a lot of depressed people on this bus when we got on. They've obviously been on it for a very long time. <laughs> But we've got the my best seats in the garden. house right at the front. Yep, and even so, we'll probably look like those depressed people in six hours' time when we get off. Yeah. It's going to be a long afternoon. At least we got to walk around this morning. Maybe we'll see lots of countries. Yeah, we will. We definitely will. Okay, now to get the laptops out and entertain ourselves for a while. We made it to Slovakia at about 7 p.m. Yep, after six hours on the bus, we had the front seat, so it wasn't so bad. But anyone behind us, they just looked like they were having a bad time being on a bus for that long. It's very cool. Anybody else? It was. Um, so, we pretty much got in, <laughs> ate some Chinese food, and went to bed because we're really exciting. But this morning we've got up, we went and grabbed a coffee, and it tasted like real coffee, which is always exciting in my books. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go walk around the town. Uh, sorry, our train to Prague is in about an hour and a half. So we'll make our way to the train station soon. But there's some little markets around. And yeah, 
So we'll have a quick little look at Slovakia and Old Town. I don't think there's a huge amount to see. No, I and think you could do it in an hour and a half. Comparatively to other old towns that were visited recently, we probably don't need too much more time than just that no. to have a bit of a look. That's it. So I think there's three churches to see, a castle and some markets. So go do that now. Next week we arrive in Prague, we show you some beautiful views and find some interesting things on the menu.